Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Cook, Ryan Cook Carvin, and today we are talking about the new Makita impact driver. It is the 40 volt versus the 18 volt. Now, I'm a carver. I don't know a ton of stuff about this stuff. I just know that I love this drill. I've had this drill for many years. It has been one of the most reliable drills that I have ever had in my life. Only once or twice, it has failed me. And I mean, that's when I'm throwing in like 18 inch lag bolts to do huge attachments where when you glue them, you can feel the screw and the weight of the wood pulling down and then the screw bends and it doesn't have the strength to pull it out. This thing can drive in one of these, you know, five and a half inch uh, torque screws with no problems. I have done it many times. These are the screws that I always use. The T or the hex 35 or whatever that is. I think it's hex or it, who cares? It's a 35 torque, torque, uh, torque screw. And it's been great for me. So I just got this one because you, if you know, and you follow my page, me and uncle Kevin just built this deck. It was crazy. So much fun. And, um, Makita was so kind to send us all the new 40 volt stuff. So I have the drill, I've got the impact driver, I got the cutoff saw, the miter saw, um, the, uh, oh, what else did I get? The circular saw and a cut saw. I can't tell you that the miter saw is gonna go back to Makita. I lost it. I don't know what happened. I mean, I dropped it and it fell down and it's gone. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm definitely gonna get it. After using that saw, guarantee I'm gonna make a video about it. It is one of the coolest uh, saws that I've ever used aside from chainsaws. The miter saw is incredible, but we will talk about that in a different video because right now we are talking about this one versus this one. Now, ooh, nice. Um, there's a lot of new settings on this one in comparison to uh, this one, you know, this one has like kind of basically like slow to high, um, the S to H, I'm not entirely sure what those two stand for. And don't come to me for knowing what I'm talking about. What I'm going to talk about is what I know from using this in my everyday life. I don't know the schematics, the details, the, the little idiosyncrasies of these drills. If you want that, there's so many great videos of them. I'm only going to talk about it when it works for, for me as a carver and we're going to race them. We're going to try them. We're going to see them. I've never put these two together. I just did get some swag, which is awesome. You know, Makita is one of my sponsors, but at the same time, they're not paying me to make this video and I don't know which one's going to win the race. I don't know which drill is better. I can tell you this drill is awesome. It's light. It's uh, easy to travel with. It's easy to, you know, work with. This one's a little heavier, but this 40 volt, uh, you know, X, I uh, know, what is it? XGT. I keep, I'm dyslexic, so it always goes XTG. This 40 volt battery is insane. Like, it just has so much power in comparison to this one. Just in using them over building this deck, this thing is a beast. Now, we've used it on deck screws. You're, I got another video coming out building the deck. I'm gonna do this video here, and then I'm gonna do some other ones, but I just wanted to talk about what are the differences, what do I like, and then experience it at the same time as we're doing it together. Because, well, you know what? It's Tool Talk Tuesday, we're gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna talk about impact drivers, and we're not just gonna talk about versus the two, we'll talk about why these two are amazing. Now. Let's just get right into that. Why I think this is an amazing tool is it is, it can take a beating. You know, you look at this thing. I have dropped this thing from the top of this roof up here, uh, carving, uh, doing attachments, uh, not placing it properly, dropping it to the ground. And this is one of the tools that just keeps on ticking. And that's the one thing I love about Makita. You cannot go wrong with spending a little bit more money on a tool that's gonna last you forever than going and getting a cheap tool that you're gonna buy five of them before you replace one of these. And I genuinely mean that. And that's the one thing about 
my carving kind of career and the way I've approached even like working with companies and being sponsored by companies is that I just go to the best of the best and hope they understand what my vision is and hope they understand that, you know, I'm, I want to work with the best so I can tell you guys what it's like to do that. And then at the same time, you can go and just go, okay, well, I can go and buy this random tool for, you know, 40 bucks from Canadian Tire, or I can, or no, let's not say 40 in this day and age with inflation and all the garbage that's going on. Let's say it's like, uh, you know, uh, blah, 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 impact driver from, you know, one of the local hardware stores. The thing's gonna be probably a hundred bucks or 75 bucks cheaper, depending on which country, America, USA, Europe, doesn't, uh, you know, could be Euros, could be anywhere. It's gonna be cheaper. What you get when you buy Makita or you buy other brands of the top brands, you're gonna get what you get because you're paying for it. Now, and I totally believe in that. And I have, I've stood by that and that's something I'm very proud of when I rep companies and when I actually talk about them. You know, I genuinely believe that for me, Makita makes the best tools for carving. They got the best die grinders, they got the best finger sanders, they have the best angle grinders, they have basically everything. And with the way things are going, cordless is the way of the future. Um, I fought it, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely still think that the GD800 uh, die grinder is 10 times better than the battery because it just has the power. Um, but the battery is really handy and that's the way it's going. I mean, I couldn't imagine using one of these drills corded anymore. I do it for my high speed drills. Hopefully they'll come out with one that will be uh, fast enough for sanding. As you all know, I love the sandal flex, but you know, what I think genuinely in this kind of spiel of mine is that, you know, you pay for what you get. Now, moving forward, let's just test these out. I haven't done this, I don't know. There are a couple pre-drills, but that was because I was trying to figure out what these, setting mean, these settings mean. I'm gonna do this in one take. It's gonna be one blah, blah, blah video. It might be short, might be long. I don't know if you're with me still, awesome. Subscribe, my name's Ryan Cooks, Ryan Cook Carvin, and uh, hopefully y'all enjoy this. But, you know, for me, there is the wood setting, there's a drill setting, and there's, I think number four is an all around setting. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was for speed, but yeah, it's totally not. So I think three, if you put it, maybe there's a lot of different settings. No, so it seems to be, let's see. That's not it. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there we go. That's the setting. Okay, so there is multiple settings. There's an auto setting that's gonna stop. I, my assumption is that this, and guys, it, literally, girls, guys, everybody who watches these, if you really want the interworkings of this machine, Google other videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna wing it and talk about it and tell you how it works for me. So, I've got it on the high speed. I've got this one on the high speed. This one's faster for sure. It's quieter, bulkier. What I found when I was building my deck, this one actually doesn't get into good spaces or tight, small spaces, especially in the corners of my deck when I was trying to, uh, tack into the sides of stuff and we had bushes i had my fencing here and i was trying to get on my neighbor's property and drill from the side to just like you know fill in the fence this was a little bit trickier to get in because this is a bulky battery but it's double the power it's 40 volts this is 18 volts so it's uh it's a lot more and no you know what like let's just see they're exactly the same. Oh, are they the same? Maybe not. Maybe that's why it was, oh no, it's the same. I was like, maybe this isn't the same. There we go. And there we go. So let's just see what it does. I think these are both the fastest speeds and we'll even 
Yeah, they look good and go. This one won by a hair. Now, there's a, it felt easier. It just pulled itself down where, let's pull them out. Is that the right way? I don't even know. That's the right. Okay, now well, they're both at the same and well, that one pulled it out quicker, which was nice. So, you, you, you know, when you have these two amazing drills, I would, I'm not surprised that either one of them is going to outperform one or the other. And I'm sure if I switched it up and did one here and, you know, one here and then maybe did this one, this one feels like it's down further, but it's not. And then... Clearly this one is coming out faster, which is really nice to know because the same thing is this one's more uh, less expensive now, I, I assume because it's 18 volt and the 40 volt is going to have more power. But the thing about the 40 volt for sure is it's going to hog and I've had this drill and it has been a nightmare because I don't have one of those big auger electrical uh impact drills that are like one of makita's epic ones i haven't got one of those yet but i've used them and when you sink in a big you know 16 inch lag bolt into a attachment you're doing for your carving say it's for an elk head or uh some big block of wood but it's hanging and you're tacking it and the pressure comes down this one has faltered and i've had to like cut them out fill in stuff. I've had them in competitions. I can think about it in Chetwin. I did a big, uh, 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 what was it? It was Poseidon. I think it was Poseidon that I did this attachment for the arms or something, some, or some attachment where it didn't go in properly. And then I had to cut it out and fill it in and hide this whole thing because no one had one of those big auger drills and this thing couldn't get the, uh, attachment off. So you gotta be really, really careful with those big bolts and know, full well knowing that it's not gonna probably be able to do it. But with these six to eight to 10 inch bolts, they'll, they'll hog them in, you know? And this one, I genuinely think, I don't know for sure, it's double the power. It's gonna, it's gonna push them in. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They wouldn't make something that's going to do it. And if we get the chance, we will. And then with this, I was thinking we could do, you know, boring holes. Let's see what it's like when you do this. That's really nice. Very smooth. Very smooth. Probably going to be very hot. I like that this head is slightly bigger than this head. You know, like you can tell that this is just a little beefier than this. And I, I don't know, there's something about it for me. I'm so careless a lot of the times to be genuinely honest with you that I think this one, having a little more sturdy is probably gonna be better for me. And I love these 40 volts and let's see. Oh, maybe I should go the other way. That's nice. Now that's nice. I mean, they're both very similar in their, you know, driving in. They're both very similar. And I have watched in videos the... Uh, they, uh, some of the videos that I saw that this one worked better for cement, but when it came to it, this one was the best for wood. And I do think that like, if it was up to me, I'm probably, I'm going to go grab one and I'll continue talking. I'm going to grab one of the big, big, uh, well, this is, uh, maybe a nine and a half, 10 inch, 10 inch lag. And we'll just have a, have a look and we'll see what it's like. And do it on an angle too, because I'm going down with the grain. So going down with the grain, you're kind of ripping with the wood. We're using cedar, so it's a super soft wood. Um, so you never know, like when you get into those hardwoods, you have to really be aware of, this one may not perform as good. And it all depends on the wood that you're using. I always use cedar, 
So just remember that, like, you, you, especially if you're carving. So let's see. That's solid. Very nice. Very, very nice. The thing about the 40 volt is it just feels stronger. This is a great durable drill. Like it's not like one's, like this is a bad drill. This has been the drill I've used for the last, you know, uh, eight years, nine years. And this has been my only option. I love this drill, but I just genuinely think that this is a little bit more strong. It's stronger. Like it's double the power, but it is like, the more stability, it feels beefier. It's got a better kind of feel for it. And if you're just doing this attachment like this, I think this is this is a nicer feel, you know? Like I like solid, um, but you know, it's probably a lot more money. See, so yeah, I can feel at the end now that that thing's starting to get deep, that it's starting to slow down. It was not the same. It felt, it felt faster in the beginning, but I could feel it starting to lag as it went in. I'm gonna see if I got a bigger bit, just because now I'm genuinely curious, so hopefully you guys are still here. But, uh, let's see. Do I have something long? There we go. Now, I got one bigger, right? This is bigger. Yeah, double the size. So, or not double, <laughs> double the size. Come on, Ryan. So this is probably, I would say, almost about 12 inch. Let's see how this goes. I think it went all the way through. It sure did. So it went through into the other log which is not good because I got a carpet bear in the next one. But you can feel it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit struggling at the end as it gets further. I would, I would genuinely say you can feel it start to kind of struggle a bit and you try and do it at the same angle. That's a hog. This, this is where it's got the more power and you can totally feel it when you have these two little guys the five inchers you know this one pulled it out faster so maybe there's a little bit more torque speed i don't imagine it having a, a faster rpm i bet you if you were to put the comparisons up and you googled the two this one's gonna have faster 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 and i could even be on like the wrong setting who knows you know, I'm gonna put it on, let's see if this one does anything different. This is number three, which is I think the wood one. It's just nice. And one thing I saw in the, the automatic section or the A, section is at the end of these screws when you pull them out if you have it on that setting it'll actually stop when it gets to the very end of the screw so it doesn't go flying which i think is a really cool addition or you know i don't think this has ever done it i've never really explored these tools i just wanted to give you just my general thoughts on comparison which i've said already but you know you're still here this is a long video about talking about drills. So when it really breaks down to which one I would choose in moving forward, I have a lot of batteries with the 18 volts, so it's gonna be hard to convert. These beauties are expensive and you cannot deny that. And I can't afford to buy a ton of these, but I can tell you from doing uh, the deck with Uncle Kevin, we put in a box of screws into my deck and on one battery at the end of the day, it was half the battery where this one would have been empty for sure, for sure, for sure. So you get a lot more life and a lot more power and it is very fast for doing screws. 
and it is very nice. So I, I definitely will side with this fella. I think for getting into small tight spaces, this one's better. But if you're really kind of moving, I think the trend is gonna go to 40 volt with Makita. I don't quite know, you know, I should know considering I'm wearing 